Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Carol's Corner. Today I'm gonna make one of my family's favorite desserts, my gluten-free, paleo-friendly, chewy fudge brownies. They are delicious. With, what I mean by paleo-friendly is, I replace the white bleach flour with almond flour, the sugars with honey, if you have a preference, you can also use agave nectar, coconut nectar, or even maple bee syrup, uh, whichever you prefer. But to substitute the sugars is very beneficial to your health for persons with like celiac disease, gluten issues, diabetes, and things like that. So what I find is the texture of almond flour is a marked difference. It's a tastier richness to it as well. And the honey is not over sweet to the palate, but just right. My family doesn't know the difference. So we're going to get started. It's not as hard as you think. It is from scratch versus the Duncan Hines in the store where you add oil, eggs, and um, water. So we're gonna do it a little different, but boy, does it make a difference, and boy, is it delicious, and I can't keep it in the house. So, let's have fun. You're gonna use two cups. I'm gonna use two cups of almond flour, teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder. So these are all your whites. And just kind of mix them up. I'm gonna stir, get them all settle and thoroughly mix together so it's not uneven distribution okay so this is our flour mixture we're going to put this aside and then we're going to go make the uh the actual batter so now i'm going to make my paste my chocolate paste this is one full cup of 100 percent cocoa powder with one cup of boiling hot water get the blender going the mixer going and mix that up into a nice thick paste. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Take a minute to really scrape down. That's important. And get all your ingredients off the edges. So it, it mixes completely and you don't have gaps in the consistency of the batter so get that mixing for just a minute or so you don't want to over mix too much but we do want the powder and the, the water to gel into a nice paste next i'm going to add my sweetener this is a half a cup of pure honey Put that in there. Get every every drop. Add the one egg, uh, a beaten egg. To get that all mixed up together, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna test it. Take a second to taste it, just to test it, the level of sweetness. And make sure it's the amount I would like. Let's see what's that? Just right. Just right. Half a cup goes a long way versus using two to three cups of sugar in a regular uh, brownie recipe that's a no-no and it's not good for your health so now we have the batter it's nice and smooth and creamy last step versus a cup of oil we're going to use one stick of butter which is the equivalent is a little over a, a cup of butter get that in there get that working Makes it really rich. Adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're ready to add our flour mixture. I'm gonna add it a little at a time. So that's your mixture. This is the almond flour. You can see the difference versus regular white bleach. It's a beautiful almond color. And it's so light and fluffy, it's blanched. You can buy it blanched already or it's already sifted. And I purchased mine from Costco. You can get a large box bag of 
almond flour. It's about $11.99. It'll last you uh, quite, a, quite a bit. You can make several uh, dessert recipes and it's a good value. So we're just adding the flour slowly. I'm going to kind of stir it up a little more, make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Look at that texture. It's so rich, it's so creamy, and it tastes delicious already. So one little added extra kick and touch I add to it is a half a cup, or one-fourth cup, of chocolate chips. Talk about a chocolate lover's heaven. So I think that's creamy enough. It's pretty thoroughly mixed. I'm gonna scrape around a little bit more and get all of that good goodness off the edges. Make sure everything is is mixed thoroughly. And my last ingredient I'll be adding a fourth cup of almond milk. So that's a different switch versus water. So you know that'll be rich. Almond milk is delicious. I've been drinking it for about eight years versus regular whole milk and 2% milk. Almond, rice, soy milks. Um, those are very popular now, even coconut milk. So these are a lot of uh, paleo friendly foods. And ingredients that you can use in your baking recipes as well as your cooking recipes for sauces. So now our finished product we're gonna pour it into the pan. This is your finished product. This is the batter it's been poured into the cookie sheet onto the cookie sheet and what i may do and i'll i'll just add a little garnish like i love nuts so what i do is just add a little on one side because some of my family doesn't like nuts and some do so just add a little sprinkling so we're ready to bake we are ready While to While the bake. brownies are baking at 325 for 20 to 25 minutes, I thought I would share with you some of the items I used today in baking the brownies. The Kirkland almond flour, which is a California super fine blanch. So you wanna make sure you get the blanch type of flour that's already purified. Uh, the gourmet baking cocoa. I use real butter and organic egg. If butter is too rich for you you could also use an alternative the earth balance it's a vegan buttery tasting alternative it's organic and it's delicious i've been using it for years but today i use butter i also enjoy uh the vanilla almond milk from the calafia brand it's a really tasty brand it's only 50 calories it comes in unsweetened regular and vanilla so that was the difference as opposed to water i used the milk a uh, half a cup of milk to the mix. And I thought I would share with you uh, my guru. Her name is Danielle Walker, and these are some of her books, uh, The Paleo Friendly Lifestyle. You will gain so much insight into how transforming your health through diet would make. So check out her books, The Against the Grain, Against All Grain, um, and Eat What You Love. Both of those books are on Amazon and they're sold at Costco. They run it between $19.99 to $22.99. So it's a good read, a great read. And it's like my menu recipe Bible. So I just wanted to share that with you. And let's check on those brownies. So everyone, here's the finished product. Look at how chewy, gooey, and fudgy delicious they are. They look and they taste. I think you'll enjoy making this and sharing this with your family. And for moms, you could actually work with your children in making these healthier alternative uh, brownies. They go good also with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or just with a nice glass of milk. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and I appreciate you.